Hello and thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we'd really appreciate it if you would. Today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo ThinkPad E16 Gen 2. This is of course the second generation E16 which replaced the E15 when they changed from a 16x9 1080p display to a 16x10 aspect ratio, so the screen size is a little bit taller. This is an AMD Ryzen version and we'll go over the specifications, the outside, inside, and benchmarks as well. Let's get started. This laptop PC has an AMD Ryzen 5 7535U 6-core processor, 2.9GHz base, 4.55GHz boost, AMD Radeon graphics, 16GB of DDR5 4800 RAM, 256GB M2 NVMe SSD, 16-inch 1920x1200 IPS display, Gigabit Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6 11AX 2x2 with Bluetooth 5.3, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 and one Gen 2, HDMI 2.1, 1080p webcam with privacy shutter, dual mic array, backlit keyboard, discrete TPM 2.0, aluminum top and bottom in graphite black, 65 watt USB-C power adapter, Windows 11 Pro 64-bit and weighs 3.99 pounds. The top of the laptop is aluminum, the palm rest is plastic. The webcam's at the top of the screen with dual microphone array and a privacy shutter. There are standard function keys along the top. The power button is here, 10 key number pad and a full-size keyboard with the trackpad and the touch point. On the left side, we have two USB Type C's. Both can be used for docking stations and power delivery. USB Type A that is always on, an HDMI port, and a headset jack. On the right side, we have a Kensington lock location, collapsible gigabit ethernet, and another USB Type A. Let's take a look inside. I've already backed out all of the screws and they are retained. There are pop clips along all the edges and it is a bit difficult to get them off without breaking any of them. The bottom is aluminum, but you can see there's a lot of plastic mounted to it. There's also a thermal pad for the NVMe SSD. Inside you'll see a large system battery, the CMOS battery, stereo speakers, Two SODIMM slots, only one is populated on this model, but I'm extremely happy that it is removable memory and upgradable and dual channel capable. This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card, the NVMe SSD. This is a short type, but there is a full length slot over here. Unfortunately, a lot of the Intels don't include that, but the AMDs of this generation and previous ones do. The processor is underneath the heat pipe, which goes to the cooling assembly with system fan. The overall pass mark score for this PC is 3963, the 43rd percentile. CPU mark is 15888, the 57th percentile. 2D mark is 727, the 57th percentile. 3D mark is 2766, the 31st percentile. Memory mark is 2390, the 34th percentile. This would get better if it was in dual channel mode with the second matching stick of memory. Disk mark is 26379, the 83rd percentile. I'm glad to see they kept the two USB Type-C ports on here. It kind of gives you a spare because it's used for so many things now. Power delivery with the charger, docking stations, it supplies data transfer, power, and display port for multiple monitor output. So the fact that you have kind of a backup is a great design. The HDMI has been upgraded to 2.1, so this actually does support a 4K external display now, which is awesome. The biggest thing is the DDR5 upgrade over the previous generation DDR4. I know it takes manufacturers a little while to catch up to the current standard like that, but the fact that it's two slots they are totally removable, there's no soldered on memory, and it is dual channel, is a huge upgrade. Not many manufacturers, if any, have 
no soldered on ram anymore and uh, i'm extremely happy with that and i hope lenovo continues down that path and ignores kind of the standard of soldering everything on and making these unupgradable and you know unrepairable we'll put a link in the description if you intend to purchase if you can use that link it really helps support the channel if you have any questions please put them in the comments below please like share and subscribe and if there's anything you want to add i didn't include get that in the comments too i'm always glad to learn something new Thanks.